Hey everyone, we're here with my flea market finds for October 22nd, 2024. Uh, didn't do a video last week, uh, really didn't have a whole lot of stuff to show you, but uh, um, between last weekend and this weekend, uh, picked up enough stuff, uh, should be able to do halfway decent video for you now. Um, uh, got a lot of stuff to uh, list, and uh, sales are picking up. Um, it's uh you know getting uh christmas right around the corner uh hard to believe it's the end of october already but uh let me show you what i got uh first up uh masters of the universe these are reissue um figures um paid 35 for the four of them but uh I think they bring, I remember looking them up and I can't remember exactly what they go for, but I think somewhere around $30, give or take uh, a piece. Um, so we'll get those on. Uh, some copper. I have a copper stash um, that I just, every time I come along cheap uh, copper, I just throw this in, throw it in there with the rest. One day I'll do some with it, but uh, this was a buck for probably probably a little over a pound there of copper. Uh, Marksman Pro. This is for uh, put fasteners in your deck uh, where you can't see them. Uh, they had three dollars piece on them. I got them both for five. Uh, they go for around thirty dollars a piece. Uh, moving on, I got the uh, railroad plate, divider plate um, from the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. This was made by, I can never learn how to say this, Shammers, S-C-H-A-M-M-E-L-L-S, Shamels, uh, heavy duty plate, uh, railroad collectors will love this stuff. Uh, I paid 80 for the plate and the little odds and ends here. Uh, the plate itself, uh, there's two that sold on eBay recently. One sold for uh, 72. It had a chip in the divider. Uh, the other one in perfect shape like this sold for 180. So uh, I'm going to put 180 on this. Uh, what came along with it? Uh, looks like a bayonet holder, broken, kind of weird. Uh, a couple tokens, this one's kind of neat, dated 1888, don't even know what it is. And a little, looks like a Civil War bullet that's been in the ground for a while. It's neat because it doesn't have the rings like you normally see on them. So, going to have to look that up to see what kind of uh, bullet that is. Love the badges. Uh, I've always done good with badges over the years. Hopefully, eBay won't give me a, a problem with these. Uh, eBay only lets you sell badges that are no longer made. Um, so I'll have to do a little research. Uh, but these are Department Department of Defense badges. You can tell this one's been worn or carried a lot. Uh, paid ninety dollars for the eight badges. Pretty cool. This one's still in the um, uh, black Blackington uh, bag. Um, so very cool. Hopefully, do really good with that. Um, it's pretty neat. That one says uh, the Millennium. So that's probably from two thousand. I would assume. But uh, we'll see. I uh, went to a yard sale. A lady had uh, was selling these for her daughter at two dollars a piece. Uh, thought it was kind of neat. Uh, Old Bay seasoning on a crab shell. Uh, so I bought this one. Think I might put it down to Airbnb. Uh, hopefully, um, people won't think it's weird having a old crab shell <laughs> painted. Uh, Got a 
Westminster uh, chime, Howard Miller clock. Uh, needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but Howard Miller clocks do kind of well. This one has some kind of, what is that, K and A or KBA, um, whatever company. It still had the batteries in it. Uh, take a look from March 2008, they expired. So they've been expired for uh, almost 17 years. Um, kind of. So who knows how old the uh, clock is. Uh, a friend of mine from the flea market, he gave me a little uh, Ziploc baggie of jewelry and said, check this for me, uh, see if there's any gold in there for him. And uh, he does have a little bit of gold, a little 14K earring. Gold is going, people are just acting crazy about gold lately. Um, uh, people are saying it might go to 3,000 an ounce, uh, but like 14K is up to, last I looked, 14K was like $50 a gram. Uh, you don't need a whole uh, a whole lot to uh, for it to start adding up at those prices. But uh, this was all pretty much junk. It's a commemorative coin there, another commemorative coin there. Uh, the rest of it is uh, plate or junk, uh, nothing really, nothing that great. But he did get a little bit of gold out of it, so I'll, I'll give this back to him. And uh, I'm sure he'll sell that right away. Uh, got some Fenton glass. Fenton always does well. Um, I had to pay eighty dollars for these, twenty dollars a piece, but they bring they bring decent money. And uh, surprisingly, all the real good stuff ends up going to China. Um, so I'm sure in a few months, at least a couple of these will be sitting on a shelf over in China. Uh, really, uh, people love. Uh, Chinese collectors love Fenton. Uh, this one looks pretty good. That, that might be uh, uranium glass. We have to put a black light on that. Uh, went to an estate sale and uh, was digging around. Found a little bit of stuff. Here's some Smith & Wesson gun grips. It's a canteen cup from dated 1945. And a uh, Smith & Wesson handcuff uh, box dollar a piece how can you go wrong for a dollar a piece um, I was hoping when I first saw it I was hoping that was a uh, pistol box uh, pistol boxes always sell really well um, uh, what else we got oh love the knife this is a K bar um, very sharp gotta watch myself here you see it's a K bar US Navy mark 2 knife uh, what makes it is the scabbard and you can see the person uh, wrote on there everywhere it's been Africa Italy England uh, Cuba Curacao Bermuda Aruba South America, there's uh, France, and uh, they wrote in a bunch of cities. There's Bristol, uh, Hamilton, Pom Pompeii, Casablanca, um, Algiers. Uh, that, that really makes it. Um, Pretty cool. Uh, the it's from the the Nord sixty five eighty one contract uh, dates this scabbard to being made sometime. Uh, I forget what I put in there. I think it's around nineteen forty four into forty five, something like that. So definite World War Two. Very cool piece. I paid $40 for it. I currently have it on eBay. 
Uh, I think I put 200 on it, but uh, not bad at all. Uh, metal detecting finds. Uh, went back to my old elementary school and walked around for about an hour. Found a little owl on a on a log, made of pewter or something. Pretty cool hinge which I have no idea what I'll do with because it's only one um, found a unexpected find I believe this is a bottom to a flare uh, flare gun shell uh, couldn't find any writing on it but uh, pretty cool piece there a couple pieces of jewelry broken piece here and an earring um, pulled that out of a uh, local playground so no gold, no jewelry, metal detecting, but eventually I'm going to find some. Love the old uh, magazines. This is uh, Country Gentleman from 1929. They are ice boat racing. thought that was really cool. Uh, guy at the flea market had a table full of these. It was selling them for $5 a piece. Uh, another country gentleman from June 1933. Uh, the guy's telling the kids, okay, there's the elephant, go feed them. And it, you see the looks on their faces. And uh, of the, all you see is a shadow of the huge elephant in the background. <laughs> the dog's like, go ahead, <laughs> I'm going to stay here. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, can't really make out the artist prints. Uh, some American Legion monthly magazines and uh, check it out so this one right here there's one listed on eBay for 168 and uh, here's another one for 120 and this magazine here here's one listed for 97.50 now that's asking price Got some condition issues with this, so um, between asking price and my condition issues, uh, probably get less than that. But it's nice knowing that they go for that much or ask that much. Here's a nice one of a World War II soldier in a uh, bombed out building. Uh, Blade and Ledger from October 1927 very cool with uh, Halloween Halloween stuff goes well there's a actress from September 1929 kind of looks like uh, Anna Nelson uh, another actress and I thought this was kind of neat uh, woman aviator got the plane in the back um, should do well Moving on, Let's see, did I cover everything? I think I did. Uh, Waterford Crystal. Waterford's a hard sell right now. People really don't want knickknacks sitting around collecting dust anymore. Um, but this was only ten dollars, and uh, it's not a typical uh, bowl or vase. A little tray to go on, uh, go on the desk. So. You see the suggested retail was uh, 210. Uh, so I took a chance on it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, you know what? I didn't talk about my lamp. I really love this lamp. Uh, it's got the blue fennel, the blue glass, heavy, heavy uh, glass lamp. Got the fabric color covered cord which could be better but isn't horrible I might replace that I thought about taking it there's a local place that does uh, stained glass I think it'd be really cool to have a custom shade made for that that uh, picks has the same uh, make it like a blue and maybe a clear or a frosted clear uh, to match the base that would that would be a really uh, a real stunner right there so, uh, uh, last thing I need is another 
project but uh, that would look really good I like I like it it was only 10 bucks so I don't have much in it there a, a custom shade that could get a little pricey uh, so we'll see what happens with that uh, speaking of stained glass picked up a this is a newer piece nothing really nothing really quality wise I mean once you know stained glass you realize this is like the mass produced stained glass but I only paid ten dollars for it needs a good cleaning here's the uh, it's a ceiling light um, might put that down to Airbnb along with the uh, Bose surround sound um, paid ten dollars for this and it's going to put it on eBay, but I look at the prices and they're not really, not really going for much. Um, so, uh, probably just put it with one of the TVs we have down at the uh, Airbnb. Uh, guests will probably like that it's got those around sound. Uh, Pick this up for the wife, glass bird bath. Um, I'm sure she'll put it to good use uh, somewhere around here. It's very colorful. Uh, got a mirror. This thing uh, weighs a ton. Um, but uh, $10, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, really heavy uh, etched glass mirror. Uh, not quite what sure I'm going to do with it. Um, again, might put it down Airbnb. Uh, last piece to show you is a uh, lacrosse stick. Uh, these wooden lacrosse sticks, they always sell for me. Even the ones that have uh, the broken webbing, uh, they sell. Uh, this one came with the with the bag, um, which I never had before. So I paid. Uh, uh, $10 for this and uh, that should bring probably around uh, 70 or so maybe even more all right so there we go um, I'm gonna try to get some of this stuff listed and uh, uh, looking forward to next weekend already um, it's gonna be a good one um, so till next time this will yard sales five list and we'll talk again soon